So guys, I am learning kind of how to utilize all my food. I have a little bit of a bad habit when it comes to wasting food. So, cause like I just will buy a lot and like what sometimes like I don't have enough people to feed like what I buy. So it's just me or I buy it and I just don't have time to eat it. So I kind of like get a bad habit of things going to waste. So, you know, middle of the week, end of the week, when I start noticing things go bad, I kind of like will take everything that I know is about to go bad and I will just try to eat all of it. So I made a salad with quinoa. And so I've had a dilemma because I have these kiwis, right? And they're probably, they probably have at least another half of a week before they go bad. I don't want that to happen. And I know that I just don't really like wake up and eat these right in the morning all the time. So I started researching on how to make kiwi juice. And I'm like so excited. I'm learning like how to make it. And I apparently kiwis have all these benefits like for digestion. It helps people that have asthma. I have asthma. Um. It has vitamin K in it and it has almost 200% of your daily dose of vitamin C in it. It just has so much good stuff in there. But I always had a problem like when I make smoothies, the hairs always get like in my throat and it's spicy. So I learned actually you can fill a bowl with the kiwis and some water. And you know, I'm gonna let them soak for a minute. Pretty much gonna take a sponge and I'm going to rub all the kiwi hairs off because you know, I'm kind of someone that, especially with fruit, I like to eat the skin. I'm kind of a fan of eating the skin. So, because that's where a lot of nutrients are in most fruits and vegetables and everything. So, oh, just knowing now that I can wash the hairs off and it would be more um, like beneficial, like I could still use the skin when I'm making juice. That just made it so much more worth it to me. Dang, I just burned my toast. Yeah, so the point of this video is literally me just making kiwi juice. Like, I just wanted to share because I got so excited about what I learned that um, I learned like what to pair it with and everything. And really all I have to pair with it right now is apples and applesauce. So, and you don't need a juicer to do this. That's why you rub the hairs off and everything. And I'll show you the process of how to make a kiwi juice. And we'll see how it kind of turns out because I'm kind of excited about this. <laughs> Love when I learn new things. And I, you know, I'm kind of uh, at a fault with it. I, I don't think it's a bad thing. I just think that not everyone has time for this. So like I, I will learn something new and I'll want to like FaceTime someone like immediately. I'll be like, oh my God, I just learned this. Like, isn't this so cool? <laughs> Sometimes I realize that I don't have anyone to FaceTime and that no one, or that it's just not that big of a deal. So I, uh, I was like, you know what? I know that I have a lot of like, you know, topics on like, spiritual and you know mental health and self-development and everything and I have some like dis good discussions and stuff <laughs> but this is where we're getting into the cooking and recipe and health kind of vibe on my channel because I buy food that I want to eat but I don't know how to prepare it or make it so get bummed out because I buy this food and I kind of like make excuses like oh, I don't have time to do this I don't have time to do that but I have time and I'm like, you know, it would be very useful if I learned how to prepare this stuff because honestly, after you prepare something once, it's really pretty much a lot easier than you thought. And it's easy to do again. Like the hardest part of anything is just learning how to do it the first time. But once you get it down the first time or like the second time and you know, you got over the hardest part of learning how to do something. So I think that's like, the best thing it's so I just wanted to share this because I love learning how to like make different fruits and juices and stuff and it said that you can pair it with vegetables um but just based on my own research and personal opinions I don't like mixing vegetables with fruit I don't really have all the information I need in front of me to talk about that so I'm just putting my opinion out there so yeah I'm gonna make juice combining the rest of my fruit was really apples. I, we ate everything else. So I'm going to use the apples and the kiwis and this. And I'm going to make a super fruit drink. Okay. So just to finish off this video, um, I also read coconut water is good. So I'm going to just, uh, I'm kind of just not going to measure anything just because I have, I'm just going to use the rest of what I want to use. And 
that's just gonna be like how the juice turns out. Since it's my first time making it, I can always go back and adjust it later based on what I think it should have tasted more like. So uh, yeah, I just put like, it was like three fourths of a coconut water, uh, the Vita Loca stuff. I'm carving up three apples. The seeds just went all over the floor. So yeah, there's that. One apple, two apple. going out of my head they said add a little salt I think that's just more for like so I just sprinkled some in there I'm gonna add the rest of this applesauce because I would like to use that I seem like I'm in a rush um I'm not necessarily in a rush I just um it's getting close to the time where I need to take the dogs out and I'm just trying to make this video before I do that because I know once I'm out there I'm gonna want to be out there for a while soak them and I don't really the hair is not really coming off I'm gonna shave it with a knife going like this spiny taste sometimes sucks cutting the little butts off of them it really didn't come off that well so I'm just gonna I don't really mind it because I put these in my smoothies a lot and it doesn't really hurt me that bad so I'm just gonna like really just cut off the little butts put them in here next time I'll just google ways to like kind of uh get the hairs off next time. I almost feel like I could almost just like dedicate a razor for shaving kiwis. I don't know if that's going a little far. It just have to depend on how much you eat kiwi. So you would actually like dedicate having a razor for that. If I didn't really have that much of a time budget today, I totally would go grab a razor and shave all these kiwis, but I don't even want to shave my legs in the shower half the time, so we're just gonna like scratch that for now our foods the little hairs on the kiwi to be honest aren't that bad because at the end of the day it kind of just tastes like really sour so here this is our apples and kiwis applesauce and coconut water sorry this is like a weird weird angle i'm just charging my phone too because i'm gonna edit while they're playing outside but oh my god this is uh here we go Ready? Okay, so in the pictures, it was a little bit more green, but this is our outcome. And here, I'm just gonna save us the time and I'm gonna just taste test it right now. Cause that's really all I had to do. Honestly, it's not bad at all. Nope, not bad. That tastes pretty good. It just tastes like apples and kiwis. And I'm just gonna put that in there. I'm gonna put this in here. And I think we all can agree that like, drinking them is easier than like taking the time to sit and eat them sometimes. Like when you're on the go, or you have like just things to do and you don't really have time to sit down and eat all the time it can be like a lot easier to just make drinks out of fruit that you want to eat because at the end of the day all you have to do is like put it in a cup and bring it with you so um i'm just drinking a chai tea right now and i have a bad habit of drinking like three drinks at the same time that's my kiwi video um tastes really good and yeah you guys made it or you like the video um let me know how you how it tastes if you make it and um if you have any other pointers for how to shave a kiwi or uh yeah just have anything to say about that leave in the comment like the video if you can um my first time doing that ever and just thought I'd just throw it out there and get used to making more content because i like to make content but uh yeah thanks for watching i love you guys bye